Hey friends, it's Betsy from the blog of flourishingplace.com and in today's video we are talking all about how to organize and store kids' clothes. Like I mentioned, my name is Betsy. I have a wonderful husband and two small kiddos, a baby and a toddler. So we go through clothes in our house like crazy. It seems like the kids are just growing super fast. And as soon as something just barely starts fitting them, I blink and then they've grown out of it. So I don't know if you can relate to that, but I wanted to talk a little bit today about just kind of my process for how I organize the kids' clothes, how I store them away, because yes, I do save them to pass down to the next child. And there's a lot of kind of varying views about the best way to do this, but I just kind of wanted to share my process with you and hopefully it can be a help and maybe give you some ideas. So first off, it might surprise you to know that I am not really a minimalist when it comes to kids' clothes. We are blessed to get a lot of hand-me-downs. We do a lot of shopping at thrift stores. And so with how hard my kids are on clothes, I tend to not try to do, okay, just, you know, two pairs of pants, two pairs of shorts, three t-shirts, you know, I tend to let them have a little bit more clothes, maybe than even I would say in my wardrobe, which is pretty minimal, just because of how hard they are on things and how much I'm having to do laundry, how quickly they're going through clothes. So that is just a decision I've made. I've heard some parents that do a minimal wardrobe for their kids and they swear by it. That's, that's awesome. But for us, I've just found that it's a little bit easier to have a few more clothes in the drawer and not feel like I'm doing a load of laundry for the kids every 10 seconds, which you kind of feel that way anyway, right? So first off, how I organize in the kids' room. So we have two kids, like I said, and they share a bedroom. And so we have one dresser and they each have three drawers a piece. So top drawer is pajamas, second drawer is shirts, and then the bottom drawer is pants and shorts and then they share the closet. I think I have mentioned this before, but I do not fold my kids' clothes. I don't fold them when they come out of the dryer and I don't fold them putting them into their drawers. The kids just, they go through too many clothes. It's, they're so small, it's too much work. And so basically, if you look in their drawers, the drawers look pretty messy, but it is so much less stress when I am trying to get laundry put away to just toss shirts in the drawer, toss pants in the drawer, and to not be going through making sure everything is folded. Plus, when my toddler comes along and starts pulling all their clothes out of the drawer <laughs> for fun, I'm not stressing out going, oh, I have to refold everything. It's just all thrown in there anyway, so it's easy to throw back in. So the big issue with organizing and storing kids' clothes is how fast they grow, right? Our kids are growing so fast, and you feel like as soon as you brought out new clothes for them to wear, um, that they're growing into, they're already growing out of them. And so what I have found to be a simple way to kind of process their clothes is I have a big blue tub that lives under the crib in the bedroom. And when either one of them grows out of something, I just take that article of clothing and I just toss it into that tub. That is so easy because usually when we're changing our kids' clothes and trying to get them dressed for the day or get ready for bed, it is just not the time to have some fancy system for how you're dealing with clothes they grow out of. You just grab the piece of clothing, throw it into the bin, and that's the easiest way to do it for me. Once the bin is full, that is when I do the next step, which is I just pull that bin out to the living room and then I buy extra large storage bags from Dollar Tree. And these bags are the kind where you can stick your vacuum on it and suck all the air out. And that's great because it saves a lot of space. So depending on what kind of space you're dealing with to store clothes, um, we have a little bit of attic space where we can store these plastic bags and so that works out really well. But when it's time to empty the bin, I just take an extra large storage bag and a roll of masking tape and a Sharpie. And I label the bag with, you know, whatever it is, 12 months, 12 to 18 months, you know, boy, girl, I do not do seasons. Um, I decided I would do gender and I would do age, but getting into seasons just felt too 
complicated. <laughs> and bottom line for me, I'm kind of lazy. If a system is not simple, I just will give up and I won't keep doing it. So basically I follow the same system with these bags that I do with the kids' drawers. When I put clothes in there, I do not fold them. I just make sure that they're washed and dried and clean and ready to wear and then I stuff them into the bag. And when the bag is full, I seal it and I vacuum all the air out and then I label it and then it goes in the attic. And this is the simplest way that I have found to process the kids' clothes, to keep things moving, to keep track of everything. I can easily go up to the attic and grab a bag of clothes knowing what's in there so it's not uh, work trying to hunt stuff down. Some people have found that using like tubs, you know, or, you know, plastic storage containers has worked really well. And I think that would work great. For us, I've just found I don't want to buy you know, 10 different uh, tubs to put stuff in. I have one tub in the garage that sits on a shelf and in that tub is where I have clothes um, that people have given to us or shoes or boots or whatever, coats, that the kids have not yet grown into. And I will put those items in there and then before I go shopping at a consignment store, thrift store, whatever, I will just check that bin and see okay, do I have tennis shoes in the next size? Do they need, you know, rain boots? How are the coats looking? And so that's kind of my grow into bin. And then everything else, stuff that they're growing out of and that I'm holding over for the next kid, I will put into those plastic Dollar Tree storage bags, vacuum the air out and put it into the attic. I'm not gonna lie, it is still a lot of work to go through the kids' clothes to keep up with their growth and to make sure that everything is organized and all of that, but it's worth it for us. I know some people have found they just don't feel like it's worth it to hold on to clothes for the next kid, so they'll kind of buy a wardrobe for their kid, that kid will go through it, and then the next kid gets new clothes. And that is totally fine, kind of like I said with storage. If it works for you, that is great and go for it. I have just found that for us, we do save quite a bit of money with doing hand-me-downs and we are able to store those, like I said, with the attic space. If we were living in an apartment situation or a, a space where we didn't have as much storage, I would probably think twice about saving all of the clothes. Now, we don't live in a huge house. Uh, our home is a thousand square feet and I would definitely say that we don't really have like closet space. Um, to store a bunch of clothes, but with that little bit of attic space that we have above the garage, I found we can make it work. I hope this has been helpful for you. I hope you've gotten some ideas about easy ways to store kids' clothes and organize kids' clothes. It is a full-time job to be sure sometimes it feels like trying to keep up with our growing kids, but it is wonderful to watch them grow and just fun to kind of figure out how to make the process more efficient and easier on me as I'm trying to keep up with the kids. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I make videos on this channel all about decluttering, organizing, and creating beauty in your home on a budget. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.